Hello, in today's video I'm going to answer the question of what mineral oil is and if it's something you shouldn't mind using or should stay away from. Mineral oil is the byproduct of crude petroleum oil. It's a colorless, odorless, and tasteless liquid that's oily and insoluble in water and ethanol, though soluble in benzene, petroleum ether, ether, volatile oils, and carbon disulfide. There are many types and grades of mineral oil, but the one commonly acceptable and approved for use is made from highly refined and purified petroleum. Mineral oil can have a light density, being light mineral oil or heavy density. It's specifically created by distilling crude petroleum oil at atmospheric pressure, then under a high vacuum to produce distillates and residual fractions that are further refined to make the mineral oil suitable for human consumption. As there are many types and grades of mineral oil, so are their names. Other names to look out for that are mineral oil are white oil, paraffin oil, liquid paraffin, paraffinum liquidum, liquid petroleum, base oils, mineral base oils, mineral paraffins, white mineral oil. Mineral oil is cheaper to sell to manufacturers than to get rid of in the environment. It is primarily found in cosmetics and skin care, but is also used in medicine, food, and household products, such as wood items. In cosmetics and skin care, mineral oil coats the skin, sealing in moisture. The result will often be a smooth skin feel. Those who suffer from dry skin and specific skin conditions, such as Xerosis, eczema, and dandruff can use mineral oil to soothe irritated skin and lock in moisture. In medicine, mineral oil serves as a lubricant and laxative, often used to relieve constipation by allowing stool to pass through easily. This is accomplished by taking mineral oil by mouth or as an enema. In food, mineral oil has many purposes. Having the food grade number E905A it can serve as a fat replacement, food enhancer, especially for candy by adding shine and preventing pieces from sticking together. Along with that, it can be used to grease pans to prevent baked goods from sticking to the surface. It can even serve as a binding agent. And if not used in food, it is used on food preparation tools. Mineral oil protects wood, as in wooden surfaces, counters, cutting boards, and tools by making them repel water. This not only prevents staining, but cracks and odor absorption. Specifically, mineral oil can be found in scented candles, food packaging, cold creams, shaving gels, lipstick, lip balms, mascaras, disposable razors, ointments, gummy candies, and more. This substance can be taken orally, topically, or as an enema, but there are different types designed for specific uses. So with all of this known about mineral oil, is it safe for human consumption, short and long term? Mineral oil is yet another controversial product with conflicting thoughts on its safety. The FDA approves it as a safe active ingredient in specific over-the-counter medications and in personal care products, cosmetics, and food with the maximum daily limit of 10 milligrams per kilograms. The Cosmetic Ingredient Review concluded that there was no substantial scientific evidence that found white mineral oil to be harmful when used topically at any dose in multiple species. The belief is that the mineral oil produced for human use is highly purified and refined to meet the required specifications for pharmaceuticals, food, cosmetics, and skin care. The mineral oil that is not safe for human use is considered crude oil, which is not purified and refined. That oil is used in aviation, railroad, and automotive industries. And the World Health Organization defines untreated or poorly treated mineral oil as a group one carcinogen. However, highly refined and purified mineral oil is defined as group three, which is not suspected to be carcinogenic. But many, including beauty and food manufacturers, don't believe mineral oil is safe or worth the consumption. They believe that since mineral oil is a petrochemical waste product that has the potential to contain carcinogens. They also know that since mineral oil is difficult to get rid of in nature, 
being poorly biodegradable, the same runs true for the human body. Another concern is that many believe that mineral oil is comedogenic, clogging pores and causing acne, while many believe the opposite that it isn't comedogenic and won't clog pores or cause acne. Those who believe otherwise state that mineral oil has been around since the 1800s. Being in cosmetics, mineral oil has a long record of being safe. Despite the confusion over mineral oil safety, there has been notable side effects with overuse and incorrect use. They are dependence for regular bowel movements, for some who have taken mineral oil by mouth for a long time as a laxative have found that they couldn't produce regular bowel movements without the laxative. This has also caused damage to the bowel and malnutrition. Pneumonia. Inhaling mineral oil into the lungs is very dangerous and usually happens by accident. Lesson in drug potency. For those taking other drugs while taking mineral oil have experienced a drop in the drug's effectiveness. Other side effects are increased UV penetration, difficulty breathing, severe diarrhea, face, lips, and tongue swelling, itching, loose stools, nausea, and more. To combat these side effects, it's been advised to avoid mineral oil mist, avoid it if you have respiratory or gastric esophageal conditions, are pregnant, and are taking other medications. So, should you consume mineral oil? I say no, it's best to avoid it if you can. Though the confusion over mineral oil safety could be due to confusion over the quality of mineral oil being referred to, it is, after all, highly processed substance derived from crude oil, being the byproduct of crude oil after it's been converted to gasoline. Though it has many benefits, especially in the areas of relieving dry skin and constipation, the cons far outweigh them. It is not clear whether long-term extensive studies have been done on the effects of refined mineral oil, but even the noted side effects are concerning. If you take medications, have breathing and swallowing problems, or just don't know how you'll respond to mineral oil, avoid this substance. Many food and skincare companies produce effective products without mineral oil, one of them being 100% pure. I did a video reviewing this company, which I'll link below. But as a rule of thumb, to avoid this substance, always read the ingredient list and look out for mineral oil and its other associated names mentioned earlier in this video. Luckily, there are a lot of processed food and skincare products that don't have this ingredient. So also check out my playlist on product recommendations and skincare and makeup to discover them. And that's it. I hope I clarified what mineral oil is, the controversy and confusion surrounding it, and whether it's safe for use. So consider avoiding this product, especially with the large variety of options in skincare, beauty, and food out there. If you found this video helpful, please like, comment, and share so others looking to understand this additive popular in many cosmetics, skincare, and food can find this video. Subscribe for more whole food and nutrition videos, and until next time, take care.